Okay. So are you recording? Mm -hmm. Recording right now? Yep. I love you, Holly. I love you more. Play it back. Once again, I want to thank everybody for coming through. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. We're done with that. Today, we're reviewing and unveiling, unboxing the GoPro Max. Boom. And here it is. For those of y'all who know me, I do do a lot of 360 vids, uh, TikTok, other platforms. I kind of go crazy with it. But we got a hold of this brand new GoPro uh, 360 Max. So we decided to crack it open and show you guys exactly what comes in it. And then I'm going to give you my take on the GoPro, which I have used for a minute. So how you open this thing? Oh, you got a little pull tab down here. Let's get it open and see what all comes in here. It's like Christmas, huh? <laughs> all right, so you do get the GoPro case, which is good. The box is not reusable. But you do get the GoPro case that everything comes in, and it's really handy. You kind of carry everything around until you're ready to use it. But in here comes the camera, a little black velvet bag, and I'm gonna show you something very important. Two clear lenses. That's gonna become so important later. Uh, <laughs> You get a USB charging port. You get a mounting bracket. You get a battery. And you get a car mounting bracket, which if I'm not mistaken, this actually clips in here. You open that up and it'll kind of click in together. Oh, and there's also the pin that you use to connect the GoPro to it. So now let's pull this GoPro out and see what we got. So obviously this GoPro is probably dead, but through the miracle of TV and uh, battery charging, we got another battery right there. <laughs> so yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and pop a fresh battery in this thing and mm -hmm. see what it, see what it can do. It's right there behind the monitor. Oh. So this Sorry, is what you get. all over the place. <laughs> so this is what you get right here. This is the GoPro. This is how it's gonna come out the box. Uh, that's the screen. This is an incredibly durable camera. That's the first thing I gotta say. Uh, that's what GoPro is actually known for, and that's one of the reasons that we got them, that we got this one. Uh, but this one comes with a certain. A, a, a few flaws. So first I'm gonna point out the lens caps, keep them. And if you can, get online, buy you a couple more. It's not gonna matter, cause you're still gonna break them. Uh, for the most durable camera in the world, ah, they got the lenses protruding out of both sides. And, and it's just a fatal flaw. Anytime this thing hits the ground, it's, it's gonna break, every single time. So if you go get one of them, uh, and I'm not knocking GoPro. It's actually a really good camera. Uh, it gets really good quality. Uh, the, the sound quality isn't as good. And even on the video quality, I wouldn't say it's going all the way up to the 14, uh, what is it, 1480. But it still gets really good picture quality, especially for what it, for what it does. As far as the lighting, uh, you have to adjust it damn near every time. I mean, if you do a video on there, you're going to want to go into the settings and kind of make whatever adjustments you got got to make to get the lighting right so uh unless you're a tech guy and you're really willing to do that it's, it's not really good for that but what it is good for 
if you bolt this thing to the outside of your car and you going 150, or what's the speed limit now? 75 on the highway. 75 down the highway. <laughs> uh, this will get you some beautiful shots. It'll probably eventually fall off the car and break. <laughs> yeah. Uh, without the two lenses, the camera would not break. You could, and you, uh, it actually has a fine feature, a fine locator on the app. Uh, so that's going to get me to some of the good things that, that I think about this camera, man. Real talk, the app is phenomenal and it works flawlessly. Uh, it allows you to edit. It does quick edits for you. It has music, licensed music in the app that you can use if you wanted to do go that way. Or you can import your own stuff in to kind of mix and match with your edits. Uh, the thing is, it's a, it's a pretty self-contained unit. And... Another bad thing about the app, I think the the iCloud, at least in my experience, was a little bit glitchy. I was eh, wasn't really really comfortable with it. Initially, when I got my very first GoPro, initially when I got my first GoPro, my thoughts was I could use it as a YouTube camera and I could also get some interesting shots, you know, slow motion drips, a, a bunch of different interesting effects. Uh, but after having it, matter of fact, I'm just going to put these caps. I'm going to just put the caps back on. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry, guys. And let me see that battery real quick. Let's pop this battery in. Uh, and go ahead and get it started. Also, uh, I did have one problem with the app when I initially, when I had initially purchased my first, or my second GoPro. Uh, and that problem was I got to get the SD card out of my pocket. Oh, hopefully this ain't the wrong SD card. We don't got no, uh, <laughs> <laughs> like, pictures of the family reunion on there. Yeah. I know what you people was thinking. <laughs> Man. Anyway, this is my old GoPro thing, my old GoPro uh, SD card. And let me actually show you guys. When you look in here, right, that's where the GoPro, where the... You can't see it. It's like a fuzzy. Is it all pleasant? Should I back up? No, stop. So we're not going to show you that. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's because the cinema, the cinematic. It's, it's it, focusing in on me. Yeah. But the SD card slides in right there. Kind of push it down in there. You slide the battery in. And then you're going to want to connect it to your phone. Uh, it is a touch screen and you can operate it from the touch screen, but it wasn't built to be operated like that. It's built to be operated from the app. You can see the images from the app. Like I said, the app works really good if the camera didn't break so much. So real talk, I would actually have to tell you guys, if you're going to get a 360 camera, either, either be extremely, extremely, extremely careful with this thing or make sure you get a protection plan. It just so happens that GoPro has a subscription, and no, this is not a paid endorsement. I true, I don't even like the thing. Uh, but uh, they do got a subscription. I believe it's fifty dollars a year unless you access their cloud account, uh, which once again was a little bit glitchy for me. Uh, even in seeing some of the 360 videos that I had uploaded to it, you get a thumbnail of them and you can't really tell what it is, right? And versus they should at least let you make the thumbnail and name it. Uh, that's a whole different issue but uh yeah if you get this either get the subscription which will guarantee you a replacement for it anytime you break it you just send them send it to them and they'll send you back a brand new one uh, e. <laughs> yeah so with that being said if i had to give a thumbs up or a thumbs down on it um i'd probably go a thumbs down on this one man i do love the camera i use it a lot but it's a lot more than probably what you bargained for, especially coming in at the price point, uh, uh, $750 to $800. Oh, fam. Uh, once again, thanks for coming through. We was talking about the GoPro camera. And like I said, it's, it's a really good camera. It's just not for me. I don't know if it's a YouTube camera. Uh, however, if you do a bunch of action stuff, it could be a really great camera. It does great action shots. Uh, also, uh, the, the camera I got is a GoPro 360 which means that it records in 360 degrees, which is why it has protruding cameras, protruding lenses on both sides. Uh, so if you don't do 360 shots, you can just get your regular GoPro, they're super durable and they will take great pictures. 
another issue that I had that I really hate, this camera will overheat on you. If you're outside and the wind is hitting it, you're, you're pretty good. But a hot day, it's going to overheat and shut off. So you want, might want to think about that also. Uh, other than that, if you learned anything from this video, please hit the like button. You might want to subscribe to the channel because, oh my God, I do a lot. I do so much. Other than that, I will see you guys in a couple days with a new banger. And like always, let's get it. Thank you.